Ariana Grande is easily one of the biggest stars in the industry right now, and her album Thank You Next has hit the ground running. The title track off of the album broke more than one record upon release, including Most Plays in One Day by a female artist on Spotify. This album's honestly amazing, and I love every song. Not to mention, Ariana just took home her first Grammy this year, winning Best Pop Vocal Album for her previous album, Sweetener. We all know she's an incredible vocalist, but in this video, we're gonna be talking less about her talent and more about her transformation over the years. From her red hair and Victorious to her now infamous ponytail, which has become part of her persona. What's going on guys and girls? My name's Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. We're gonna talk about Ariana's style, her hair, skin, and any rumored cosmetic procedures. I've done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Gigi Gorgeous and Farrah Abraham. We'll have links to those at the end of this video. If there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. With Ariana having spent so many years in the spotlight, there are a couple of looks she's been known for. Who can forget her bright red hair on Victorious? They work! This doesn't hurt at all! Bonk. When I look back at old reruns, I feel as though she looks like a totally different person. There's definitely speculation about what work the star has gotten done over the years. I think the changes have been gradual enough to not really notice unless you look at photos side by side of Ariana then and now. I think she's always looked amazing and she's one of my favorite females in Hollywood. Here we'll look at Ariana's beauty transformation over the years and see what she's done to get the look that she has now. Starting with Ariana's face, I think the most noticeable things about her that have changed are her eyebrows and eye area and her nose. Although it hasn't been confirmed, most likely Ariana has gotten some form of eyebrow lift. A brow lift or forehead lift is a cosmetic procedure that raises low or drooping eyebrows. Before 2013 or 2014, her eyebrows were closer to her eyes and lower on her forehead than they are today. One website spoke about her eyebrow changes, stating that, in their new position, Ariana's face became decidedly more softer and feminine. A side effect of this plastic surgery procedure is that the pulling up of her skin has made her eyelids look larger. The skin and fatty tissue no longer weighs down her eyes. Next, we have Ariana's nose. Although she's always had a cute and feminine face, her nose appears to have gotten smaller. She hasn't spoken about getting a rhinoplasty either, but if you compare her nose from some years back to her nose now, the change is noticeable on her nasal bridge. Today, Ariana's nose is more refined, sleek, and points upwards. Rumors have also circulated that Ariana may have gotten lip injections. Although her lips have been looking bigger, it's not that extreme. Moving on to Ariana's skin. Ariana always seems to have a glow. I don't remember the last time I saw her without a tan, so you'd think it's natural considering her Italian-American background. But that's not the case. If we look back to her early days, Ariana was actually pretty pale. She probably got used to sporting a glow or fake tan and liked the way it looked, enough to keep it going permanently. I can't blame her though because I always feel more confident when I have a tan and it definitely suits her. Looking at Ariana's body, she doesn't seem to have any work done as far as I can see. However, her tiny feminine figure can often make her look like a little girl, especially since she stands at only five foot one. Ariana also appears to have gotten thinner since she was a star on Nickelodeon. These days, she seems to generally stay the same size. I'm not sure if she has any diet secrets, but Ariana told Mail Online, I've been a vegan for the last few years and it has been a great experience for me. Maybe that helps, who knows. Ariana's also said, I try and live a healthy lifestyle, eating right, exercise and sleep are all so important. I try and stay really active all the time. I like to hike when I can and being on stage is a great workout. Moving on to Ariana's hair. Ariana's naturally a brunette. In 2010, we were introduced to Ariana as Kat Valentine on Victorious, where her signature look was bright red hair. To keep up with this unnatural look, Ariana had to constantly color her hair and wear extensions, which resulted in a lot of damage. While starring on Sam and Cat, Ariana stated, I had to bleach my hair and dye it red every other week for the first four years of playing Cat, as one would assume that completely destroyed my hair. I now wear a wig on Sam and Cat. My real hair is back to brown and I wear extensions, but I wear it in a ponytail because my actual hair is so broken that it looks absolutely ratchet and absurd when I let it down. Around 2013, we started to see the beginnings of Ariana's high ponytail, and she went for a lighter, dirty blonde color on her hair. From then on, although the high ponytail hairstyle went through variations, it became a staple of hers. She also doesn't hide the fact that she wears extensions. I mean, listen to the lyrics of Seven Rings. You like my hair? She thinks 
just got it. Although she switched it up like her platinum blonde hair for her Sweetener album and No Tears Left to Cry video, she's back to her brunette roots at the moment. Looking at Ariana's style, her fashion choices have also evolved over the years. Out of the countless outfits and looks she's been photographed in, there are a few styles that appear more often than others. Ariana used to wear cat ears a lot and she discovered them on a trip to Japan where they're popular. I think the look gave Ariana a playful image and she's worn them many times over the last few years. Sort of like throwback. I love an animal ear, clearly. She also seems to love dressing in oversized clothes, often wearing big hoodies or shirts as dresses and pairing them with thigh high boots. This trend is also known as lampshading. One could assume that thigh high boots are her favorite type of footwear considering she wears them all the time. And they probably make her taller. She also always looks great on the red carpet. One of my favorite looks was definitely this fluffy black dress she wore. Ariane has embraced many fun changes over the years, but despite her constant evolution, she's always a trendsetter. Plenty of her looks have been copied by popular clothing stores, and I totally get why. Regardless of what the star may or may not have gotten done, she looks gorgeous, and she's definitely the envy of many girls out there. Ariana has gone from an innocent looking teen star to an icon over the past few years, and she keeps getting better. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and after. If you want to talk more about her transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. No dick pics, please. Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!